G'day all. Uh, time for the um, final process of cleaning up the concentrates. Some concentrates in that bucket there. Uh, we're going to be using some mercury in an amalgam tumbler. Uh, it's pretty dangerous stuff if you don't use it properly, but as long as you're safe with it, it's safe enough. Uh, I keep all mine in the fridge. So you should keep it in a sealed jar with water in it and yeah keep it nice and cool uh, that's just a little bit there's probably about two ounces that I stick in each lot that's you can see that real well that's just some amalgams that I've already done I haven't retorted them yet and then I have my main jar there I keep separate I just I keep this two ounces here of mercury that I just keep reusing and reusing squeezing out but I'll show you that bit later so yeah we're going to use that stuff now as long as you keep it under water don't touch it with your hands you know, don't heat it and inhale it basically it's it's not too bad. Um, so this is what I use just here. Um, this is my little tumbler bowl. It's only a little rock tumbler. Uh, works really well. So um, yeah, we'll get into it. So here's my little rock tumbler here that I use. I'm building a bigger one at the moment, a proper ball mill. But this little rock tumbler, it's ideal for cleaning up concentrates. When you're doing crushed rock, it's okay just to stick it in with water. Um, if you're doing stuff like alluvial gold in black sand, you're better off sticking it in with some um, sodium hydroxide which is basically high strength oven cleaner, a real strong alkali and that will help the gold stick to the coatings on the alluvial gold not help the mercury, sorry, stick to the gold that about halfway. I'm only doing a little bit at the moment just to show you what the know is. Um, I'll stick these in with it. Uh, There's a bit of a mixture of three quarter inch and inch stainless steel ball bearings. Um, they help grind it up a little bit and help it all to mix. I'm going to stick that in there we've got enough water just to add a little bit of water and then just tip the jar of mercury in just tip it in as whole with the water and all so you don't have to be touching it or handling it lid on and we'll take it down to the tumbler and get it started right yep so I'm down in the shed the tumbler it's a bit of a bloody mess no crap lying around everywhere from where I've been building stuff but, um, yeah so basically the tumbler is just a little electric motor there belt drive 
that spins this shaft around and it rolls on this one. So I'll just stick the bowl in. Once again, sorry for the dodgy camera work, but doing it one handed. So yeah, the bowl just sits on there. Stumbling, had it going for about an hour and a half. Got Jackie on the camera this time since I noticed that I had my bloody hand over the microphone at the end of the last bit. So I've got all the stuff ready now. I'll just scoop that out of the tumbler. In my pan. Should wear gloves so you don't get You keep the mercury under water all the time. That's the safest way. You uh, only have to give it a pretty rough pan because all the uh, gold will be with the mercury and that will all be in a big blob settled on the bottom. So you don't have to be real fussy with your panning. Checked it lots of times and I've never even seen a colour. This gets every single tiny little speck of gold. Stiffer bits will stay at the top. Uh, now they're a bit stiffer because they're loaded with gold. So what we do is we just suck all this stuff up, use a pipette so that you're not touching none of it. It's going solid into an amalgam almost straight away. Got, there's a hell of a lot of gold in this lot, that's why it's going so solid like that straight away. And you just suck out all the mercury, all the liquid mercury, with your pipette. And basically I'll be left with some solid chunks there. That's what I use my tweezers for. Once you just left a few solid chunks, be very careful that you don't drop any mercury. And you just pick the chunks up and drop them in your jar. As it's coming out in lots of little balls because of uh, the way my crusher works. Bigger bits in the crusher come out in balls. Might just it's still a little bit liquidy there, so I'll just snuffer up any more liquid out of it with my pipette.
And now I'll pick all this amalgam out of here now, stick it in my jar, and then I'll show you the retort process in a second. Alright, so I've got all the little chunks of amalgam and uh, liquid mercury. I've stuck them all in that jar. Uh, this lot of black sand that's in here is just a tiny little bit left. I'll just stick that back in the amalgam bowl, so any little bits of mercury that I might have missed in the amalgam, they go into the next lot. So keep that under water. Keep that lid on. And it's all good. Alright, um, now I'll set up and I'll squeeze it through a cloth and get an amalgam ball. Alright. So uh, there's my mercury amalgam, some of it, little bits of rock. So um, what we do is just got a bit of old linen here, pour it all into that. Make sure you're wearing gloves when you're doing this and keep it under water, don't want to touch none of it. Mercury gets absorbed through your skin so it's no good for you. Shake it all to the bottom as you're doing it. You want your amalgam to come out as a nice little ball. And start twisting your cloth. As you twist your cloth, you'll see the mercury start coming out. Keep shaking it as you're doing it. To Get it all down to the bottom so you get a nice ball of amalgam at the end. Just keep twisting it. Make it really, really tight. You want to squeeze out any liquid at all that's in there. Good hard squeeze with your fingers. Oh yeah, so that's all the mercury. It's come back out now. Now this is my uh, jar of amalgam that I'll keep here. I'll open this up and I'll show you. So that's my nice chunk of amalgam there. That's basically solid now. And it's still a little bit runny. But yeah, it's probably a bit over half an ounce there of amalgam. Do it over the water so you don't lose any of it. And if any of it does come out, it goes into the water. And drop your amalgam into there. Wipe your cloth off. A little bit of amalgam dropped out there. I'll just pick that up with the tweezers. Stick that in my amalgam jar. And now we're ready to retort. To be continued in a minute.